One way to think of labeling intervals is to consider two different factors. First, how many letter names or lines and spaces apart are the pitches? Once you know the interval number, you can count the number of half steps to determine the quality major, minor, perfect, augmented, or diminished. If you make a major interval even bigger, it becomes augmented. If you make a minor interval even smaller, it becomes diminished. Perfect intervals are never major or minor. If you make a perfect interval bigger, it is augmented. If you make a perfect interval smaller, it is diminished. On the musical staff, seconds always look like seconds, thirds always look like thirds, fifths always look like fifths, and fourths are in between thirds and fifths. You can learn to recognize notated intervals by the way they look, without counting the lines and spaces, just as you do with the dots on a die or symbols on a playing card. You don't count seven diamonds on the card. It just looks like seven because of the pattern. With even interval numbers, the notes are always sorted one note on a line and the other note on a space. With odd interval numbers, either both notes are on a line or both notes are on a space. Another way to think of an interval, the relationship between notes, is to use a relationship you already know, such as the relationship to the first note of the scale. When comparing all of the notes of the major scale to scale degree 1, unisons, fourths, fifths, and octaves are perfect. Everything else, seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths, are major. When considering an interval, if the top note is in the major key of the bottom note, it must be perfect or major. If the top note does not fit the key of the bottom note, you can figure out if the interval is bigger or smaller than what should be the major or perfect interval. You can then adjust the quality to minor, diminished, or augmented as you might need to. Let me work an example for you using both methods. Consider the notes A4 and F5. We first count letter names to get the interval number. A to A, a unison, is 1. A to B is 2, A to C is 3, A to D is 4, A to E is 5, and A to F is 6. A up to F is always some kind of a sixth. Now we can count half steps to determine the quality. Starting on the piano keyboard, A to A is moving zero half steps. Up to B flat is one half step, to B is two, C is 3, C sharp is 4, D is 5 half steps, D sharp is 6, E is 7, and F is 8 half steps above A. A sixth that is 8 half steps wide is a minor sixth. Using the second method, I will think in the key of the bottom note, A major, which I know has an F sharp, scale degree 6, a C sharp, scale degree 3, and a G-sharp, the leading tone. Since the note F does not exist in the key of A major, then A up to F is not a major sixth. A up to F-sharp is a major sixth. Since A up to F is one half step smaller than A up to F-sharp, the sixth is not major, it is minor. 